TitleMatchNetwork.com. Why were you uh, released? I don't know. I, probably because the front office got off and had my brother fire me. Right. <laughs> I mean, be honest with you. Did you leave on good terms? At least, or? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, you'll, you leave a company as well as you can. Right. I mean, you know, um, you know, every, everything's done for a reason. Everything's done for a little spiteful dig. And I believe it was done for a little dig. Uh, let's have John fire his brother. How did that come about? Huh. Well, you know, Heidenreich got fired. I knew it was only a matter of time. Right. You know. They pretty much said they didn't have anything for you. Or? Well, yeah, that's their out. Right. We, we, we can't do anything. I said, well, why don't you have a contest and let somebody win the spot of being one of the road warriors or lead you to do it? Like Bob Holly would have been a perfect guy to do it. You know, maybe Bob Holly had a hard time expressing his personality being Bob Holly. Put paint on his face, do something. You never know. I have a hard time doing interviews without the paint. I've gotten over the fact now because I've done a lot of speaking engagements over the last few years, but I couldn't normally before people knew me, I couldn't talk without paint, you know, especially in the ring. But now I could do it, you know. But if there's somebody that you wanted to handpick, who would it be? If there's uh, one guy out there right now in the business that you would, it didn't matter, you know, he was under contract or not, who would you want to bring in and, and team up with? You know who had a good look, and I was, I, they didn't do anything with him. And I think if they really would have hand done something, it would have been a decent work. It was Tomko. Yeah. Nice big guy, you know, I think had a good look to him that you probably could have painted and done something with. I mean, I'm talking about a guy that's sitting there doing nothing. Right, right. I'm not talking about somebody like the Batista or anything like that because, you know, that that's your money guy and your money position right there, you know. But Tom goes a guy that I think would have been real good to do it, that you would have had something, you know. How was the uh, party scene during the time period right before you left? Was it? Uh, it was little non-existent. Right. Non-existent. I think, you know, the press made a bigger deal about partying and drugs because of the situation in society. Right. It wasn't a big deal in the locker room. Nobody came to the shows messed up. TitleMatchNetwork.com How did you find out about uh, Eddie Guerrero's death? I was looking at my TV. Russell found dead this morning in Minneapolis. Hmm. Right in my hometown, man. You know, I was sitting right there. And I said, you got to be kidding me. Eddie Guerrero and Brian Pillman died in my town. Both of them. Were you surprised when he passed away? Yeah, I didn't know he had a heart problem. All right. And if you did, why didn't you take care of it? If you knew. I think Brian Pillman knew too. I think Brian Pillman doing all the operations he had on his ankle knew because he had to do heart tests. You got to have a good heart to have the operation. I think they found something wrong with his heart. That's why Brian went out and would go to the crack houses and just take off and go. And they found him with the clicker in his hand like this in the Bloomington Hotel by the airport. All right. What are your feelings on uh, all the guys that you've, you know, came up in wrestling, passing away, like even Kurt Hanning and stuff like that? Do you think it's just the nature of the business that causes guys to do, abuse the drugs and I don't think anything's the nature nature of the business, man. I think it's personal. Yeah, I'm wondering. I'm wondering where all these guys' parents were. Seriously, growing up, did they not teach any of these guys values and morals? I don't understand. They all had families. Hanging out a family. What are you doing? Yeah, I have no empathy, and a lot of these guys are my friends, but I have no empathy when you know that your family or other people are relying on you for their welfare and their families. It, it becomes a very selfish business. It has to be the nature of the business some way because the guys, they want to escape something and they're trying to escape something. I don't know if it's the 300 days a year. I don't know if it's the hurt and the pain. I don't know what it is, but they want to escape something. That much is evident because they're doing it for a reason. Right. And uh, I don't think it's because you're a wrestler and you have the ability. I don't think that has anything to do with it. I just think, you know, things that have followed you from high school on through or just continuing on now. 